Nuke 15 is the next generational leap in the Nuke ecosystem with workflow and performance enhancements across machine learning tools, both in the node graph and on the timeline, greater resolution support, native Apple Silicon support, improved color management, artist and technical improvements to the timeline tools, and much more. Nuke 15 continues our commitment to support the latest 2023 VFX reference platform and to help support the challenges studios face with the Linux CentOS end of life. We're releasing 15.0 alongside Nuke 14.1 as a dual release. Nuke 15 supports Rocky 9, while 14.1 continues the 14th series with support for VFX Reference Platform 2022. This way, you can discover all the new features today on existing projects running on CentOS 7 with Nuke 14.1. And when your studio is prepared for Rocky 9, Nuke 15.0 is ready for you, with full support for VFX Reference Platform 2023 to make your pipeline transition easier. Nuke 15 brings native Apple Silicon support for Mac OS ARM, which provides up to 20% faster processing speeds. Leverage the power of your Mac while taking advantage of all the latest workflows available in Nuke 15. A great example of this is that Mac users can enjoy MPS support, meaning they can now train Copycat on Mac OS using the GPU, with training times up to 11 times faster. Machine learning performance upgrades extend to all Nuke artists though, with a new training strategy under the hood that is up to two times faster, while maintaining the same level of quality you've come to expect. We also introduced distributed training for the copycat node. We wanted to create a familiar interface so that distributed training would feel just like distributed rendering. You can now distribute training across multiple machines using standard render managers for pipeline integration, allowing you to iterate faster while you continue working on your comp and get more out of Copycat. We've expanded our machine learning tools into the timeline. You can now apply pre-trained machine learning models via the new inference soft effect, this means you can preview your copycat image processing across an entire sequence and see where your model works and where you can jump in and refine the model further. This frees you to stay focused on the edit and quickly review the result of the training across multiple shots in context, giving you greater creative control in your timeline environment. The inference node is made possible by support for multi-pixel blink soft effects on the timeline, which enables new soft effects such as lens distortion, denoise, and the ability to create your own custom spatial blink scripts. Now you can do more at a sequence level, whether that's trying out effects, preparing shots for compositors, or ensuring you have the tools to build accurate edits. Combined with the multi-pixel blink effects, we've also introduced artist-focused improvements to help speed up review with auto-disc caching, multiple playheads, and automatic shot selection letting you quickly traverse your timeline and compare shots, change versions, or add soft effects all at your fingertips, keeping review sessions fast and interactive. Reviewing the final image on the right projector or TV is crucial to the finishing of a show, and when working remotely and reviewing through IP connections, it is important to have the same experience, color accuracy, and sound as if you were in the office. With that in mind, NDI in Monitor Out now supports audio output. We've also updated to the latest Arja and Blackmagic Design SDKs and support 10 and 12-bit RGB output with Blackmagic hardware. Color management is an intrinsic part of the pipeline and OCIO is its backbone. We're always looking to improve how artists can understand and work with color in Nuke and bring greater clarity to the color management process. You can now set output transforms from the right node, set aliases for configs to make its intended purpose on your show clear, and support for OCIOZ configs, making it easier to share your color management setup between teams. Whatever the show, we've got you covered with a wide range of updates to supported cameras, including the new Ari Alexa 35 camera with the ability to read in HDE format, the latest OpenEXR and Avid DNX versions, and MXF Read and Write. Nuke 15 continues to evolve the new USD-based 3D system. Thanks to the 3D beta forums and everyone that gave us feedback, we've further developed the new system and incorporated workflows that matter to the artist. With the ability to work with larger scenes in the new performance system comes the need to more easily navigate, select, and manipulate your 3D stage. To help with this, we have implemented a new dedicated 3D toolbar with new selection controls and two tier selections allowing you to quickly focus on an object and select the faces or vertices within it. A new pop-up scene graph with support for filters makes finding exactly what you want in large stages even easier. The GeoMerge node has been updated to give greater control over how you manage your 3D stages, 
and the continued development of Scanline Render 2 brings a UI refresh that makes rendering workflows more intuitive and an architectural overhaul to support future ray trace rendering workflows. Explore and help shape the future of pipeline connectivity with the Open Asset IO tech preview available in this release. With Open Asset IO, we want to provide better workflows for shot and asset management systems, where code doesn't have to be constantly written and rewritten for connecting between different applications. Nuke has empowered artists and companies to create the unimaginable, but some effects were locked at 16K resolution due to hardware constraints. For studios working on installations and theme park rides, as well as pushing the boundaries with matte paintings and on-camera VFX, we now support a number of planar operations on images up to a resolution of 64K. This means that for Nuke 15.0 and 14.1, all Cara VR nodes, spherical transforms and lens distortions can now be used on even larger resolutions, giving you greater scalability in your projects. With Nuke 15.0 and 14.1, we are looking to push artist tools further with modern performant architecture improvements, advancements in machine learning, greater tools to do more at a sequence level, and support for your future pipelines. Thank you for making Nuke what it is today, and happy comping.